deep or song call my agent three five fifth episode in the third series uh, batteries uh, I don't know batteries I, I can't remember seeing her in, in movies but uh, it might have happened we have the now familiar mix of, of uh, human comedy series right? and the um, yeah, unusual you care sometimes uh, meditation on, uh, on um, <coughs> what makes us tick psychology uh, acting quotes um, there are no small parts, only minor or bad actors. Then Herve has, uh, when he's preparing, in one of the previous episodes, he's preparing to be a candidate uh, for the agent's job. He talks about how uh, it's good when going into an interview to try and mimic the other's uh, mood, attitude, movements even uh, um, because it helps <coughs> it creates a bond uh, this time yeah, we're invited to think a little about nudity in movies because batteries are in, in a movie has a, an issue a problem she's on the set uh, and the director Mr. say uh, is um, pushing for an unusual, <laughs> um, unusual um, segment uh, scene. So, Beatrice is told by the makeup artist to prepare, and she was told to to make up all her body. What do you mean? There's a morgue, seen at the morgue, a commerce, and she's dead, and she's supposed to be in a bag. They will just unzip her face and say, it's her. No, no, the director wants her nude. And she, I'm not going to do that. No, I didn't know about it. So they have a clash. Andrew, who's her agent, has to come. She comes with a baby. The baby is a pain in the ass. I'm just being free here to, to attract new dislikes. Let's, let's see how this works. Dislike. Don't, don't like this book. Dislike. Have a reaction. Go ahead. Why only a few dislikes? Make it ten. Uh, so, uh, they talk about this, I mean, it's not in the script, and they come to consult lawyers because the director's view of the is that um, uh, it says for love scenes, nudity will be, if required, will be uh, accepted, uh, acceptable. Uh, one of the, this is another quote, we're not going into the details. <laughs> but the argument only about sex, love. Right? But it means sex scenes. Okay, what, what? No, 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 he's coming at the moment where he's saying goodbye to his lover and he would say, well, I'll take it. <laughs> Necrophilia, what, what is this? <laughs> uh, to anticipate at one point the director and that piece will meet and they will discuss it and uh, James Jatorsa. She likes uh, his explanation, his proposal, and then she's also uh, going a bit into, I would say, maybe Me Too aspects, um, uh, walk, uh, what happens to women on, on the set in general, because she explains how she was always uh, willing to, to trust the materials and um, she did, and at one time, at one point in decades ago in her career, 
want a surrogate, well, I want a solution, fine. What I would like is for me is to have just two, three, four people on the side. I don't want the whole team, 35, to, to address it because it's delicate, it's uh, embarrassed, 35. You know. Focus on them, so. and he didn't respect his promise. He brought the whole team, and she was very upset, and she she was traumatized. You know, that's by that. So, again, this being a comedy, we do have an insight on how movies became production details, uh, which are interesting uh, conflicts. Speaking of which. We have American producers suing for two million uh, because um, Isabelle Pair and her loss of voice, which was due to uh, strain and uh, not respecting the provisions of the contract. So, ask our agencies uh, take them to court. And Matthias sees an opening here. He, he has found out that Andre and, uh, and uh, Gabriel want to uh, go away and set up their own agency. And he, he thinks he can keep them in. He's, he's been very friendly and helpful to, to Gabriel to, to impress upon him the fact that they're a team. And he doesn't have to leave. And eventually tells him he knows about this. And his plan is to keep them in while pushing Hee Hong away. And he thinks this is an opportunity. He's the one sending the documents with the notion that it's the agency responsible, <coughs> even a secret from within, to prove. Breach of contract. Uh, Isabel Per asked on one side and the producers on the other. And um, <clears throat> he thinks that he can have Ki Han being, going, he even plays the spoker game with him, bluffing, pushing him uh, to, to go and talk to the producers where he would be exposed. And Matthias knows it, falling between and then making him an offer at one point. Okay, I'll. I'll, I'll buy your shares from you so that he can come, the agency is there, and he um, will, will just depart. So, uh, what is this aspect? We have some, some other personal issues. Uh, he um, sends an emotional letter uh, saying that he agrees with the two mothers and he will give up his parental rights. Because you can see that the baby will be um, very well cared and um, secure with them. And that's touching, that's emotional. So we have this uh, new side of what used to be a perpetual confrontation. Uh, and who knows what comes next?